Oh, yeah. We try at all times to improve all lives. Not all lives. I, <laughs> the beauty of the living is with us at all times. So that's what I'm going to try to use right here, right now. Man, the issues that we're going to be using. Truths. Man, what else do we have? Uh, except those. So let's accept those <laughs> and use this. A crucial point that we are able to make in the lives of the positive and the negatives that we are given to live with because those things are always simultaneously loving us okay and in that we get the negative of the push into the positive okay so of this world that's why you the negative and not into and to give everything its ability to be changed to be reversed to be put in slow motion because it's light speed from the very beginning okay now man the this is crucial starting from the very top TLB. Man, we didn't we don't have to sell out, you don't have to do these things. Okay, now I'm not saying you sold out or anything of that nature, but those are the words that were being used to put forth the efforts of someone who is trying to help his people. So the mistakes are made in that, and so we live with those. From the lessons we get from those, all right, which are beautiful, which are momentous, and we're not done based on just we just chilling about chilling around and the life is so good. People put forth those efforts based on some issues. Now, uh, I want to use the term nigga again. Beautiful, the healing man, Dr. Sabin, was touched by a white person to call him a nigga. Now, we see that as so many different things. I want to try to use, use them all, get, get to them, just blam, blam, blam. Now, I don't know anything about what they call them, chakras. You know, I don't know about Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. I feel for you. <laughs> Man, that's how I go at it. You know what I'm talking about? I feel for you. We, 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 we own it. So, uh, <laughs> let me stay focused. But yeah, so the energy that I'm using is the term uh, nigger and how everything's blossomed out of that Dr. Saber healing man was called a nigger by a white man and he was able to heal people, all people in that class. Do we see that? You see? And I want to push in the 22 soldiers that are dying every day. I said those are prophets because why they accepted the unification of going toward a safe country so there would be peace. The naivety of that is a very spiritual thing and as we know some of the most so-called naive people are the most spiritual people so they saw the vision of having peace after war thus they are prophets and to be losing that many every day is detrimental to a society. I say they're prophets because what? The white man told Dr. Sabi while calling him a nigger, he was going to heal him, set him on his path at that very moment. That is heavenly bound. You can't, we, how else can you see that? How wonderful, how experienced you have to have in order to tell that story in such a powerful way when we're talking about race in America. There is no issue. Only if you only accept man's laws and rules that govern our lives, of course, we're going to have those so-called issues. But we don't have to. We don't have to have to be dealing with those in that way. True. And so now we have this to deal with it in a way to deal with it in a much more loving way. Okay, we have that one issue, right? Beautiful came out of that. 
You see? Remember, remember again, in Hollywood, they had to do Michael Richardson. He called us niggas, niggas, niggas on stage. Power this up, man. He was a high Masonic person on the highest levels that they have. So they took the highest level of people and thinking they downgrading us. Look what they doing. Taking us to the highest truth that you can speak out of your mouth, person, from your highest level teaching. See, we overpower that. We bring up the truth that's in that. Yeah, nigga, we are that nigga. Look how powerful we are. Look how powerful that word is that you've given us what it does to us. Wonderful, isn't it? You see, the whole time you've been calling us that, we've been powering up, coming up, moving forward at all times. Have we not? Now let's go to another way of looking at it. Because it's already flowered up in the healing man. Ears up for the healing of the nation. The black man told us that. The white folks jumped on it. That's a, he called him a nigga. That's a prophet. Beautiful. And the dude, I just told you about the Richardson's on stage calling us a nigga again. Hollywood, they got the, there it is. Pay homage to the black man to the truth. That I'm speaking, not that I'm making up. These are experiences in life that we've all seen on a large scale. And the pressure is on to produce something. Solar plexus, solar plexus, this thing. Heart and brain function. Mass. All right, now let's move forward. All the so called rednecks that's been calling me niggas. Y'all been powering me up. Look at that. Y'all been powering me up. As a matter of fact, let's show how much power they've been using. Let's go to politics. Wow. In the politics, it says, David Duke threatened them to say, ah, I know these deals you've been dealing with these niggas. I'm going to tell them y'all if y'all don't straighten up. But before then, he showed the relationship of the slave owners. Now the slave owners, please forgive me, scratch that, of the enslavers, how they put a price on the human lives, who they were, the families, and the names, and the cultural stand. You see? He did that. Gave us, went to a black dude radio station and shocked the world with it by revealing that information. You see, even the ones that are calling us niggas are so-called rednecks. They powering us up the whole time. Because that's what the universe does. Gives the negative as power as powerful as it can be. Because it was powerful. Ooh. Ku Klux Klan. Ooh, they was burning crosses, cutting hanging niggas and all that shit. Yeah, ooh. Scary. Shooting children, babies and shit, all that. Ooh. Right? Now look at it. The power is on us to reveal the truth in it. To live through it. Not to go and try to cause anyone harm. Because the truth is going to raise. Them up is so powerful. Yes. Okay. We don't make deals with the devil. So we're going to flip the switch. Now, it's not harmful to you, but it's the truth is told on that. Malcolm X told the deal that the brothers uh, Muslims made with the clans not to do any harm to us. You see? But that was already in effect. They couldn't help it. They couldn't do no harm to us. Anyway, you see? So you just make a bad... So you, you didn't make a you didn't make a bad deal on that. That was a great deal. That was a deal with the devil. Those who reveal the power that was truly in us. That we would that they would come to a an, an agreement and say, okay, no harm done. Although it was done in secret, to keep only one aspect of a group of religious people safe from harm. And yet it kept us all safe from harm. Because the power in it was to, to Continue to allow them to call us niggas, burn them crosses, all this shit that's powered us. Look, look at the green zone that, we, that we're in right now. That's all militaries must have and do have set up to communicate what it is they need, what areas they need, the geographical terrain of the area, the atmosphere, all of that time of year, all of that. So that's where we are right now. In the green zone, in the safe zone, where we, where we distribute all the information and in given the logistics of the targets that are there. 
And that's what this is. You can have all the people, you see? And that turned the name. You see? It's blessing us so powerfully now. I'm giving you powerful examples of that. The political stance, Hollywood stance, and the actual stance of the prophets and them profiting off the bodies from those young men going to war. Now, here's the even more powerful one. The one I really love that I want to share wonderfully that we have to have. Now, they say God gave them Israel. Yes? Then why are you signing the contract saying you're over the United States? You're the superpower of the United States. You're not listening to God or you listen to yourself. The clever contracts that you can do to try to overpower the omnipotent. You see? That's not how, we, that's not how it works. I remember what's his name taught y'all that lesson, gave y'all a chance to be open and honest about that. I can't think of that brother's name that ran for the president. He debated Alan Dershowitz. Uh, man, I can't think of that brother's name, but I'll put it on there somewhere. The brother ran for the president and he made those very comments. That it doesn't matter how clever you can manipulate the laws to keep come to your side, but the power of the universe always, the truth always rises. Alan Keyes is that brother's name. Yes. Thank you, universe. Thank you, Alan, for super sending that message to us. Debated him on religion and the truth. Okay? So, these things have meaning. And if they, what is it that they're going to do? They're not listening to their own creator by saying that God gave them Israel but you're going to sign a contract saying that you're a superpower of the United States. Wow. Man, that is a very deep statement to be made. You all must see that. That's for what it is. So what is it that they're doing? Who are they listening to? Are they trying to pull something else? Why are we getting this information through that, like that? Because it's, it's what the truth the truth is coming out in that way. Again, by them trying to subject the world to something that's not an equal force of nature, then what comes back to them? The same thing they put putting out. This is what this is. We're in the green zone. We're looking them in the eye and seeing them. And like the guy said, and it's not making a joke on them either. But the guy in Flash Boys said about the people out there on Silicon Valley and people do things like that. It's like a bunch of autistic guys doing things. Because again, you know, because I know what autism is my mother had worked in school, helped start school. And we know autistic people don't like to look you in the eye. That's one of the things that they say about autistic people. They don't like to look you in the eye. So if these people are not willing to look us in the eye, then there is an issue there. It is truth to the phobia, to the medical established behavior of that, you see? Or they always want to look at themselves or look at things in a comical way or in Hollywood or delivered dramatically. Something that is not just in harmony of who you are as an individual in the flow of things, you see? So, to be looked in the eye and to cause fear in one as, an, as a medical subject that has been established that they use right now today. So where are they hiding from? Where are they hiding? And what decisions, who are they loyal to? Two countries, two gods, you can't do that. Peace.